Hi guys, welcome back to Adventures with Ara and Nala, and today on this adventure, we're still in Boston because I am lazy and I couldn't record the intro and the outro for this video because I sent my SD card to a friend of mine because I had a bunch of videos on it from the trip and she wanted them. And so I didn't want to buy a new SD card, so I have to go buy one anyway after this because I have to uh, make some more videos. Regardless, it's called Kadaif, and it is my favorite dessert ever. Imagine baklava, except the filo dough is shredded into little strands that you have to tear apart, and then you, la oh, sorry. you layer it with either walnuts or cream or nuts of any kind. Or There's a bunch of stuff that can go in there. So please enjoy. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, four, five ish, six. No, oh, go ahead, Bob. Go ahead. Make sure the Armenian flag is showing. Oh. Yeah. Only two? One and a half cup. Hold on. Grab the my my zahar. So this is orange water. Basically, it is kind of a essence of orange blossom water, and we don't really measure it. We use the cap. So I figured it. Get a cup in each. So, we're going to put three capfuls. In each. Just as a... Flavor enhancer. Flavor enhancer. So just to review, we got two cups of sugar in each of these, and we got one and a half cups of water, two slices of lemon, and three caps to four caps of the orange blossom water. The sugar water, you bring it to boil. After when it boils like half a minute, turn it off, put it aside to cool down. So remember that right now all we're doing is getting our mise en place. We're getting everything prepared that way when Everything is done, boiled down, melted, everything's ready to go. We just have to record adding it to each other, and then we're done. We're going to show you two different kinds of khadaev, and that's it. One of them's going to be with cream, and the other one's going to be with walnut and sugar, like we saw. So, yeah, I told you choking. What are you doing? Why are you choking? Oh, he's going to die. Wrong pipe. Wrong pipe. So we're going to show you what this stuff looks like. It's phyllo dough, but it's just in little strands. So this is stupendous lighting. I love it. It's great. It's stupendous. All right, so 
As you can see, it's phyllo dough. <laughs> Get out of my fucking way. <laughs> so, phyllo dough. It is just dough that's made into string. So, what we gotta do is rip. Perfect. <laughs> what we gotta do? That was not Otto. That was Natalie. Oh, it could have been me. I have I have a range of an angel. Uh, take oh, it okay. and rip it apart into almost individual strands. If you don't have individual strands, then you're gonna have clumpy, not good, shitty food, and it's gonna suck. It's not a food asshole. Sorry, it's not a food asshole. It's a dessert. So, over here, like we said, we're melting the butter, and we're going to be doing this over a very low heat, so the butter doesn't burn it brown. Or you could do this in the microwave with a not metal pan. Okay. Easy. You want to spread them completely apart, George, all the way to the bottom. It doesn't have to be one piece. You can cut it in half. It makes it easier, though. Huh. So now it just looks like a pile of hair. Looks like you took some friggin' dreads no, no, and started ripping them apart. In half. There we go. Now Dad's helping. This is the only part of it that really annoys me because it takes forever. Thank God I'm not doing it this time. <laughs> you having fun, George? Mm. Oh, yeah. So much fun. You can tell by the way that you are. It's nice. Not doing it for once. <laughs> You want me to do that one, Bob? No, we can do it, Rich. So now what you got to do, take the butter and pour it all over the melted, or I'm sorry, take it and pour it all over the shredded, shredded phyllo dough. And then you just got to kind of massage it in. So you want to make sure that there's no dry clumps of the phyllo dough left. Otherwise, it's going to create a dry spot in the final product. Everyone loves this. Right, Boomer? Only reason has to be mixed good because uh, when the butter blends to it and when you cook it, it'll be more crispy. Crispy. You're going to split it in half? Right, Boomer? So, take it and split it in half and put half of it on the bottom. Of this Pyrex. You can obviously know why we're doing this. There's going to be a bottom part and a top part. The middle in between is going to be filled with either the cream or the walnut mixture. The thing is very important is you got to pack it down like Dad's doing here. If you don't pack it down, the cream or the walnut's just going to fall down below. And it's going to be a puddle of shit instead of a split, you know, dessert. George. Dump the walnuts slowly. Very important job, Judge. There you go. Even the good. All of it? Yeah, all of it. Spread it out. What would you say? Maybe five cups of walnuts? Yeah, maybe six. I'm in Shakara. That's okay. And then, as we discussed, always wipe smart. Take the rest of the field of dough and put it on top and spread it out and then pack it down. What are you laughing at? That's not field of dough, it's baba dough.
It's definitely shredded filo dough. Yeah, but still. Yes, it's called dough, it's called Hadaev. Yes, but it's still shredded filo. Look at this. You make the videos. You'll probably do a better job. Yep. <laughs> Boomer, kill. Who me? <laughs> no, that never seems good. Boomer's gonna be the friggin' Nala supplement in this video. Come here. Go ahead. Come here. Come here. Come sniff. Come sniff. Come on. <laughs> Get over there. What are you doing? Come, <laughs> come here with your damn dad. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's nothing. Come here. Come here. Me. Get over here. Come here. Why are you so afraid of the camera? Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, good boy. See? It's just a camera. Now, don't you lick that. No. Good boy. Good boy. So this is now done. This is the one with the cinnamon sugar with the walnuts. All we gotta do is throw it in the oven. You done who now? Buttered the shit out of it. So here we go, where you got the other one all buttered up, split in half, and we're gonna layer this one into this Pyrex. And we're gonna top this one in the middle with the cream mixture. Sweet cream, to make sure. One 16 ounce carton of heavy cream. What's a carton? You mean a carton? Carton. 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 There we go. You sound better. And one 16 ounce carton of half and half. Five tablespoons of cornstarch. If you guys worked with cornstarch before, you know that it's going to help this become thicker and more viscous. That way it just doesn't leak into the bottom of the uh, other. Three. Then three caps of the orange blossom water again. George is very precise with it. Get, How much? Get out. Sugar. How much? Three spoons. Three teaspoons. Good enough. You stick so if it burns, the taste will change completely. So you gotta be on top of it non-stop and stir it. So what you mean is George is gonna have to continuously stir this thing. Stupendous. Low heat? No, until it gets to a medium heat. We got it on medium. George is gonna stir this until his freaking arms fall off. Popcorn? Get a pop. I'm not gonna eat it. I already had a bunch. You having fun? You got a fucking schmiegel. Look at this. Hold on. It's a it's a piece of dust. Dust. What is this? Trash? Recycling. It's empty. It's recycling. <laughs> Where do we put it? Right here. <laughs> that there's a good boy. Yeah. If y'all don't know, this is Boomer, the German short-haired pointer, puppy, boy, a very good boy. So, contrary to popular belief, I don't know if it's popular, popular, but I'm just going to say that out loud. But sugar will burn in water. Well, I've burned water before because I don't know how to cook. I'm going to give this one a little twirl here too, bud. So now the sugar lemon, well, ah. Is getting its uh, dissolver on. Don't forget the orange blossom. We're gonna send that all the way down. 
What a fucking handsome man. Look at this. Two brothers in a, in a kitchen making chabayim. So, remember you gotta keep this moving a little bit, otherwise it'll burn. Like Dad said, if it burns, we're screwed. The people love angles, George. You gotta switch up the angles on them. Oh, do it again. What? What a friggin' champion. Look at the little explorer. Hi, mister. Oh, God. Oh. Ah, ah, you're not supposed to be on that, mister. No, oh, good boy. You're just not supposed to be on top of that. So once the sugar water mixture comes to a boil, you're gonna let it sit there and boil for about 30 seconds. And once it reduces a little bit, you're gonna turn off the heat and cool it. It needs to be very, very cool before you add it to the rest of the uh, mixture there. Same with that one. So we're probably just gonna put this outside and let it cool like that. But here's this boiler we were talking about. We we're gonna let this go for about 30 seconds to a minute. Let it reduce down just a skosh. So now that it was at a boil and it boiled for 30 seconds, you kind of just turn it on low and let it chill here. And then after the habayev is done cooking in the oven, you're gonna pour this over it, but only once it's completely cold. If you put it up there when it's hot, everything's gonna get mushy and disgusting. And now that it is boiled and done, turn off the heat, let it sit here, and then once both of them are done, this one hasn't even boiled yet, we're going to take it and throw it outside and let it cool. At the same time, this guy is starting to thicken. Got it on a pretty high heat. Dad said no and turned it down. Got it on a pretty medium, medium high heat, and it's starting to thicken up now. Oh yeah, there we go. Got a little viscosity going. So it happens out of nowhere, but this thing will just thicken up. George, give it a lift. Yeah, see now it's got some real hang time. It's not dripping as much. So it kind of happens out of nowhere, and you really got to pay attention to it. After this step, if it loses any more moisture, then you get the chance of burning it, and you have to start all over from the beginning. So now the other sugar water lemon rose thing is boiling. It's been boiling for about 30 seconds, so you turn it to low for a little while, and then eventually we'll just turn it off and let it start doing its thing. This guy is looking stupendous. So after a couple minutes on low, turn off the sugar water, and now that this guy is super thick, give it a hang time, George. Oh yeah, turn that one off too. Can remember, we're gonna have this packed down tight into the Pyrex. That way it doesn't all just try to sink to the bottom. Try to fill in any holes you find. And then, pour the cream mixture all over it. Probably use a rubber spatula or something to move it around, but you see, it tries to stay on top. Nice. So, as you remember, once we put the walnuts in here, we covered it with the rest of the chadayev. Just right there, all buttered up and ready to go. So, same exact thing is going to happen over here. We're going to take the rest of the shredded fuel dough. We we'll wait a few seconds. That one to settle. And this, we can pack this on top of it. You heard it here. Well, Natalie's got a fucking gun. Oh, fuck! Are you serious? Right in this. Jesus Christ! That thing's fucking dangerous! I live in an abusive household where we shoot each other. I got him down yet! You wanna try again? 
These fuckers. Bummer! Come here! Come here! That's animal abuses. Boomer! Hi, Mumbish. Hi, Bubbish. What are you doing? He's a good boy. Yes. There we go. That's the angle the people need to see. So, if you see, well, maybe you saw a moment ago, but right here, the cream has set a little bit. As you can see, it, it's it's getting wrinkly there. You know what I'm saying? So, because of that, we know that it's good to start putting the top layer on. <laughs> so, same thing. You want to pack it down just a little bit, but not too hard, because then you could fuck up the layer of the cream. So, off, off, off. You know better. You know better. He's like, but do I? Do I? So, give it a light pack down, just to make sure that nothing's going to boil over or look like shit when you're done and you want to have it all kind of even when you actually cook it. All pretty like. All pretty like. Right Judge? So here we have the cream Adaev and the cinnamon sugar walnut Adaev. These are one of my favorite desserts and you guys get to learn how to make them. What's up? You can do this with pecan, you can do this with pistachio. You know, you can do it any kind of... Peanuts? Peanuts, no. No, it's not going to be good, huh? Like Dad said, you can use pecans, pistachios, anything like that, and it's still going to turn out great. But it's kind of like a trial and error thing. Get enough. Have fun with it. It's just a nice thing to do with the family. The cream one kind of, kind of just stays where it's at, but... Try different nuts. Try different things. <laughs> So what we were just going over is one of them has to be cold and one of them has to be hot. So since this one's coming out of the oven and going to be hot, usually what we do is let these cool down to room temperature. That way we can have this one being hot, or sorry, this one being cold and this one being hot. And just so you're not confused, this and this will both be hot out of the oven and these will hopefully be down to room temp. If you do both of them hot, then the sugar water will not absorb into the filo dough, like the the, chadaya, the actual hairy stuff. So when you have it cold, it'll absorb into the hot, you know, dessert better. If not, Dad says that it will essentially crystallize and make it so it's just liquidy on the bottom and crystally on the top, and it just has a terrible consistency. It still tastes good, it just has a horrible consistency. So this is Bent Water Brewing Company, the Thunder Funk IPA, 7.3%, made right here in Lynn, Massachusetts. Look at that. So I love IPAs. If they have an IPA available, I'll most likely get that, maybe a stout or something like that. But Bent Water makes some super good IPAs. We had a sample pack of four of them that Dad had. And he was specifically waiting for me to come home so he can actually have me try them and tell him how it is because I love IPAs. So, yeah, let's try this. Super clean and hoppy at the beginning. With like tropical fruits, like like pineapples and shit that's amazing so like I said super good actually like really good um, I actually messaged one of my buddies about this back home in Okinawa and she was like man you thought of me Thunderfunk <laughs> but yeah Alejandra super good super good maybe I can get some more maybe I'll bring back uh a four pack for you. 
And if Bent Water Brewing Company in Lynn, Mass wants to send me a bunch of this stuff to Okinawa, Japan, I would not be opposed to it, but they are not sponsoring this video. I just wanted to show it because it's a super cool design on the can. It's an amazing IPA and it's a great beer. There we go. Walnuts in. And the cream is in. Babo, how long are we cooking at 425? No, uh, that we got to time it. Until he gets like, we'll tell the minutes later. Okay. So we're going to time it now and then tell them how long it's going to yeah. take later? Right now it's 2.15. I believe somewhere like 35 to 40 minutes. All right. There you go. So we did 4.25 for about 40 minutes and it came out looking beautiful and golden brown like you see. Good, good, good. The walnut one. Yep. Boom. Beautiful. So now that they have cooled off for about five minutes, you're going to take the lemons out of the sugar syrup. Oh my God, I hear it. What? It's like three days and I'm already talking like friggin' Sarah. Who? Sarah. No, you're not. I hear it. You can't they... talk like me. <laughs> I got that whole thing. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna drizzle this evenly over everything. Oh, it takes them a minute. There you go. So now we got the cinnamon sugar walnut one. Same exact thing. Same amount of syrup. Different size Pyrex, but it's fine because it's the same exact everything. Yes, that was a burp. What do you think, George? Sizzling. Sizzling. You know you're on there all day, right? I hate you. No. I can't. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so here we go. We got the way. cheesy boys. Let's <laughs> Ted talk over here now. Get ready. <laughs> Is it making it hard for you to scoop it, Bob? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. There we go. Boom. Anyway. We're writing with. You're still recording, dude. Here's my phone. I'm still eating my phone. <laughs> For instance, if you go to Kansas and you get caught street racing, like actually caught in the act of street racing, you get you get charged with illegal street racing, reckless driving, reckless endangerment. Uh, okay. Is that food? What is it? It's like something vehicular manslaughter. <laughs> <laughs> If like if you were to get into an accident, like yeah, they just right. they tack it on there even though nothing happened. Shut up. It's in bed. I mean, it's bum fuck nowhere in Kansas, so you're good to go. That was my first ticket. So I got my, my my accident. I got into an accident. My first accident was in Franklin or somewhere on the highway. And it was just I was it was a winter. I just spun out okay. and hit the median. All right, guys. I know that's a long video, but this is not a easy process. There's a ton of little moving parts that goes into making this thing and the end result is phenomenal. I'm going to try to get into a little bit more of the stuff that I grew up eating like Kadaev and uh, some things like uh, steak and potatoes but we do it differently. We don't just like grill steak and have potatoes. We marinate everything. Uh, chicken and potatoes we do this thing where we layer hamburger and tomato together. And if you'd like to see that kind of stuff, let me know. Uh, the next video I'm going to be putting up is probably a car culture video. And I think there might be <laughs> something. <laughs> there might be something going on with that. Hi. Now let's say hi to everyone. Say hi. Now let's say hi. Look, stop. Okay. okay. Hi. 
just the biggest little tiny girl, the littlest princess in the land. All right, guys, have a good day. Can I see this? Bye. She's like, no, no, no. Let me end the video. No. Stop, stop, stop. Let me just press the button. No, 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 no. I want to watch that. Hold on. Let's see if it shows. Huh? What was that? He has to take the glasses off before everything. All right. So I'll zoom in, see it. Actually, no, no. Go like this. I'll show it to 